Spaniards and Fugues. Thanks for me. Yes, well, Gordon. And that, actually, I just, uh, that is, um, it's free, well, like, you wouldn't pay to see it anyway, but you should. <laughs> totally would. No, I didn't mean. It's so powerful up here, I don't know what I'm creating. Um, uh, it is also the last chance, is it, to get to see Adam play um, in that venue. In that venue. <laughs> I'm trying to pop it up a little bit, but Adam's moving to Paris? Cool. This, is, this isn't a whole interview, so I don't want uh, too many details. But, oh. <laughs> Funny thing happened to you on the way here. What, what was it? <laughs>
Yeah. My dog can get an Ambi towel. Why can't I? <laughs> yes. Anyone have an answer? Yeah, answer? <laughs> well, okay. So this this uh, sort of slots into our Good. broad theme here because we're death. looking at yeah, death destruction. That's how we always want to end every show. Yeah. <laughs> because uh, I saw you speak on Wednesday, also at the at the Get Up Forum. Oh ah, yes. Yeah. Um, which was our original show date. Um, and um, and you said 80% of Australians support. They do. They okay. Do. And yet this is, and I guess it's like, um, well, who thinks really? The, 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 the supported and then it just can't be, for, for whatever reason, aren't political issues. It's so amazing. you're trying to forge through the night. Why? Well, they, look at this. They, ABC Compass does this big thing. They get 74% there say they want change for voluntary euthanasia, and it sinks without a stone. 54% say they want same-sex marriage, and it's a big, uh, big deal. And suddenly we've got Kevin running around. He's going to do something <laughs> in the first hundred days. Everyone is being asked what their position is, and people have got position. 74% want this happened, and it was as if like nothing happened. You've got to have the alignment of the planet before politicians will move on this issue. Why do you think that is? Oh, there's a few theories, but one of them is that for politicians, attracting the ire of the church is not good on your CV. Mm. And, uh, Kevin got out of it by being I know. God and gay. Well, <laughs> there's a few loopholes. The two Gs. Yeah. No, it's hard. And, and, and it also cuts right across the left, right. So there's people in the Labor, people in the Conservatives will never agree. So you've got a split on your hands. Parties won't touch it. It's left to the, it used to be the Democrats, now to the Greens. Or, of course, to the Bonham. Bonjour, you the party. party. Thank you. We both put one above the line. Do, are you cutting through? I'm cutting right through. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. you're on. The, you're on, This is probably the largest forum in Canberra. I oh, know. I'm so pleased tonight. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Grammar that how you will. Um, so, so you've. What I wanted to talk about. I'm not sure if it's the nice, nice tone to end with. But I personally, I would love to pick when I get to yeah. to leave, and you've assisted people to do that. What was the first time that you did that one? Well, when we got this piece of legislation a long, long time ago, 18 years ago. Northern Territory. Northern Territory, another territory. Bob Dennis said, come around on Sunday and I'll go up to the clock. And he was the first person to qualify to use that law. And so it's a pretty hard thing because I'd worked hard to get that legislation through, but it was sort of crunched on then. Now you've got a man saying they want it to work. And so it's a hard, it's a hard thing. He said, come around and have lunch and I'll do it too. And I mean... Yeah, it was difficult, and I, uh, days went by worried, ended up building a machine so that he could press the button and the machine would give the drugs, rather than me sitting there alongside him and putting the syringe into a vein and injecting the Nembutal. But even so, I sat there through that lunch, couldn't eat my sandwich, shirt covered in sweat, anxious, and people said, ah, oh, that's because you knew you were about to break some fundamental law. It wasn't anything of breaking fundamental laws of God, it was about the fact that I was so anxious that something would go wrong and you were by yourself, there was this fear that something would go wrong, you couldn't forget things and say, come back, I'll come back tomorrow and do it. He was wanting to die and he had to, I had to make it happen. And so my feeling when he pressed the button on that last screen on the machine I built, it showed the question, if you press this button in 15 seconds you'll die. And he pressed the button, he pushed the machine out of the way, he held his wife Judy in his arms and I sat there for those 15 seconds waiting for that damn machine, and it's because I had all sorts of glitches. And it started up, and the drugs flowed, and he died in her arms. And my overwhelming feeling, and people often say, how did you feel? My overwhelming feeling was one of immense relief that it had all worked, and he'd got the death, death that he prayed in that peaceful way, and uh, immense relief that it had all worked. And I kind of knew that life was going to change. Four times that was used. The law was overturned here in Canberra, thanks to John Howard, Kevin Andrews, and Kim Beasley from the Labor Party. No one down here, well not no one, but there was little support. It was overturned, chucked out. Australia's gone back into the dark ages. Other countries move on. We've got countries in Europe, we've got states in America. We languish here, going nowhere. Every day, week, people get into trouble with laws that make it a crime to help people have a peaceful death. It doesn't matter how 
people acting of compassion and love, but you can still be looking at 10 years in prison for helping someone to die, and that's got to change, which is why. It's not all negative. You're here forging That's right. Through. It's got to change it. But in the boxing ring. Why Canberra? Why did you say that? Oh, well, we looked at various reasons. Canberra's important. Uh, it's an important Senate contest. And we felt we would be significant here. We knew about the disaffection with some people with the change in liberal candidates in this seat. I'm sure everyone knows what I'm talking about. But the idea was that there would be some interest in a party which might attract disaffected voters. Uh, who would rather cut their wrists than vote green. No one in this audience, of course. And so that they would perhaps vote for us and perhaps we could have an influence on the election here. And of course, we're also standing in New South Wales and in South Australia and in the Northern Territory, <coughs> which is pretty good for a first time. Yeah, it's great. And most of it, of course, ultimately, in the case of the ACT, our preference is if you follow the single one line, will flow down to some issue. Um, and the second preference I had to look at them is um, for the sex, sex party. party. Sex party, we have got a very good relationship with sex party. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the start and finish of every life. Sex and death. Well, not sex at the end. <laughs> well, I mean, do what you want. You have 15 seconds. Um, we don't have 15 seconds. I wish we could talk to all of our guests all night. Thank you so much for... Oh.